Well, we've got you here uh, teaming up with Ahmed Johnson. Uh, he's undeniably got this million-dollar look to him. Um, I've heard he could be difficult to get along with. Uh, what were your thoughts on Ahmed? Uh, he was a pain in the ass, man. Really? Oh, yeah. He didn't want to learn nothing. I know I, I one time met with him and told him, look, I'll help you out, man. Be at the building at, at 530 in Indianapolis. And uh, he said, yeah, I'll be there, man. Because Vince said, hey, take him in there and show him something. So I got there at 5 o'clock, and he no-showed me. Ugh. And then when he did walk in, he copped an attitude with me, telling me he didn't need no fucking help. What in the world? Yep. Well, it's a shame because, you know, as I mentioned, he's got this great look. And, you know, at this time, the, the steroid stuff had uh, had come and gone. But, you know, I know that Vince was still being really cautious as far as, you know, steroid testing and making sure that his talents weren't on the juice so he wouldn't get get nailed. And, you know, as you know, people you believe that. Well, it's. It's, uh, it's a little column A, a little column B, because you look at the Ultimate Warrior here when he returns at WrestleMania 12, he is way smaller than he was previously, right? Yeah. But, uh, I don't, so, I mean, do you have any perspective on that? Was Vince going nuts when it came to testing guys at this time? Some people were allowed to, and some people weren't. Really? Yeah. You think Hogan ever went off the juice? Oh, no, no. Okay, yeah. I will say when he got to uh, WCW, he was starting to look a lot leaner. Yeah. Um, but he was still he was still massive. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, uh, like I was saying, Ahmed Johnson, he's got this great look. I mean, look at him uh, about to square off with with the British Bulldog and others here. Um, what a shame that he wouldn't take some direction, especially from a guy like yourself. Yeah. He could have had it all, man. He could have had it all. He didn't like to work. You know, period. He didn't have any passion for the business? No. no. Just there to collect a paycheck. Yeah, he didn't want to work for that. <laughs> Man, just, uh, again, it's a it's a what-could-have-been situation when it comes to Ahmed. Yeah. Um, now, if, you know, you said that you were going to give him a little bit of training and help him out a little bit, uh, what would that have looked like? You know, is it just like kind of showing him some of the, uh, I mean, it's silly because here he is on the biggest stage in wrestling. Would you have been showing him just essentially basics or psychology or what did you have in mind? Yeah, basics. You know. Like how to, how to snap into a lockup properly? And how to sell, when to sell, when to sell, how to sell. You know, don't go from zero to 60 in one second, you know. That's the mistake that most of them make. You know, they'll, they'll be out there and be getting the shit beat out of them, and then one second later, they're fucking making a comeback. And that was him, too. Um, you yeah. know, pretty pretty infamously, uh, it was uh, Jeff Jarrett smashing him over the head with, like, this picture frame thing, and he no-sold it and chased Jarrett to the back of, yeah. the, of the arena. And it was just like, man, I'm, I think that uh, that was one of those moments where it's like, man, this guy's dying on the vine. Yep. You know, I know he's this big dude, and he's, you know, obviously got a ton of muscle on him, but you've still got to sell, if, especially if you're going to be a baby face. How else do you get sympathy? Dude, you can't. You can't. 